The Managing Director of the International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde, has delivered a positive review of Indonesia's resilience against economic headwinds. However, Lagarde has asked the administration to build strength through good policy. The IMF boss has backed moves by the government and monetary authorities to support the Indonesian economy. Lagarde's evaluation is based on Indonesia's strong economic foundation, its huge reserves of natural resources and current macroeconomic framework. However, Lagarde has asked Indonesia and other Asian countries to show care in policy making. She says a number of indicators need to remain under consideration, including fiscal policy, credit growth, the exchange rate, foreign exchange reserves, as well as monitoring and management of the financial sector. And of course, policies need to be tailored to each country's specificities. But we are fairly confident that in most cases, it will include the following. One, strengthening defenses with prudent fiscal policy. Two, reining in excessive credit growth. Three, and that's very relevant for the governors of central banks here, allowing the exchange rate to act as a shock absorber. Four, maintaining adequate foreign exchange reserves. And fifth, building up regulatory and supervisory oversight for the financial sector and making sure that it is fully budgeted and can actually implement its task. To ensure economic stability, Lagarde has highlighted the importance of synergy between ASEAN financial markets and infrastructure development, a key to growth and financial inclusion. What has been demonstrated in the last few weeks is also how much Asia is at the core of global economy and how much disruptions occurring in one market in Asia can actually spill over to the rest of the world. The IMF has slashed Indonesia's economic growth projection to 4.7% from its initial estimate of 5.5% in October last year.